What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So today I'm going to be filming my long-awaited skincare routine. I did do one of these back in 2020, but my skincare has changed completely since then. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I do in the morning with my skincare and then what I do at night and then also just explaining some other things that I like to do throughout the week. I do have my little spa fuzzy headband on this one doesn't have a bow on top but it's okay my hair is all pulled back because i cannot wash my face when my hair is not pulled back i see people doing that and like looking all pretty with their hair down i'm like i don't know how you do it, it would drive me insane but i'm gonna be doing my morning skincare first of course so it is the morning and some people i know like to neglect their morning skincare and will only do skincare at night or vice versa you need to do your morning skincare. You might think that you're just sleeping, you're not gonna build any bacteria or germs or you're not gonna build any oils. No, you will in your sleep, best believe you will. And it's also just a really good way to refresh yourself in the morning and you also need to do it because you need to wear SPF on your face and why would you put SPF on without doing your skincare? Like, come on, let's get it together here. I'm not coming at you if you don't do your skincare in the morning, but I definitely recommend looking into it and kind of learning how important it really is for you to do it morning and night so let's get into my morning skincare routine and i'm not going to ramble on too much so of course i always start with my cleanser i do use the cerave hydrating cream to foam cleanser so i put a little bit on my hand and of course i'm going to wet my hand hands in my face usually i throw some water on my face first but when you do wash your face you want to use warm water it's not good to use super hot water but it's also not good to use super cold water so i'm going to go and wash my face right now and you want to wash your face for about a minute it's really good to just make Make sure you're like really getting in there and just massaging the cleanser into your face make sure you're not missing any spots um, i always recommend getting near your hairline and near your ears and also cleaning your eyes and stuff and your nose and just really massaging the cleanser into your skin making sure like you're really just cleaning it if you just do a quick scrub of your face it's really not gonna do what it needs to do so you want to make sure you're really taking the time to i think there's like a technique like you sing AB, your abcs twice or something like that i don't really know but i just usually do it for like a good amount of time i usually know kind of when to stop so and also i know i said wash your face with lukewarm water but of course in the morning sometimes we want to throw some cold water on our face so you could totally throw cold water on your face first and then wash your face with the lukewarm water but yeah i really love this cleanser it's helped me so much i do have dry to normal skin so i can use the hydrating products but cerave has other options and there's also so many other cleansers you could choose from okay i'm gonna rinse it off and then you just want to pat dry your face with a towel it's always better to pat and not rub because you don't want to ever like be tugging at your skin so next up i'm going to be going in with my niacinamide from the ordinary i do actually use this morning and night i'm not sure if like you're supposed to use it less than that but i have no problem with it using it morning and night i just really like what it does for my skin um i'm gonna put the benefits on the screen because i don't really know off the top of my head and when you rub in your niacinamide you really want to focus on pulling your skin upwards because it just helps with wrinkles and aging when you pull your skin upwards okay and i do have really bad under eye circles and fine lines under my eyes so I'm going in with the ordinary caffeine solution and I just like to put it on this finger you always want to put it on the finger that has the lightest touch um, because you're supposed to be really gentle with your under eyes so I just do it like this and you just want to like pat it in and you can kind of like gently rub it into your under eyes and sometimes I'll also take this up onto my eyelid just because sometimes I do get like dark circles or darkness around my eyes as well not even just on my under eyes and then you just want to let it all dry and seep into your skin and for your skincare the simpler the better so in the morning you even want to make it even simpler than it is at nighttime i used to do the exact same routine at night and in the morning with like literally my whole like long steps of my routine but i realized that it wasn't necessary so i don't use my toner or my essence in the morning anymore i just use these products in the morning because i just felt like it was not necessary so you guys will see the toner and the essence in the night portion but next i'm going to be going in with my moisturizer so i love the first day beauty ultra repair cream i did have the bigger thing of it but i ran out and i had this one as a backup so this one has colloidal oatmeal in it which is really good for hydration so this literally moisturizes my skin so well this one is the intense hydration one but 
a little bit does go a long way with this moisturizer however i love a good amount of moisturizer so i always use a little bit more than i really need to you only need a dime size amount but if you're someone like me who just likes to use the extraness you guys can see i'm just pulling my skin upward and i do moisturize around my eyes as well because i do get really dry eyes i do have eczema around my eyes but i haven't had an outbreak in a while which is really good I'm also just massaging it into my neck and that's my moisturizer and lastly for my morning skincare routine i'm going in with the first aid beauty weightless liquid mineral sunscreen with the zinc oxide this has spf 30 with your spf you want to wear spf every single morning this is the most important step to your skincare routine and i was neglecting it for a very long time um and i finally started using it i'm not the biggest fan of the first aid beauty one i do want to purchase a new one only because this one has like little beads in it that like feel like exfoliating beads and they stay on your face after i don't know if i just got like a defective bottle or if they're all like that let me know if you have this this spf and you know because other than that i really do like it i feel like it works well and it has a little bit of like a tint to it but nothing drastic so i'll kind of try to show you guys the beads if you guys can see that i'm sure you can't because the lighting oh yeah there you go so yeah it has like those little beads and that like stays on your face and i don't like that at all so i'm curious if it's just my one that i got my bottle um but it also is a little bit rough too because of that so once i finish this bottle i'm probably gonna switch the product over um but once the sunscreen dries down i literally can just like wipe it off my face uh, the like little beads so it's not that big of a deal but so that is my morning portion of my skincare routine you you should reapply SPF throughout the day. I'm not gonna lie, I do forget sometimes, but it's not necessary to use a super strong SPF, but what is necessary is to reapply. So definitely reapply your SPF if you remember, especially now that it's summer and the UV rays are even higher than they were. Um, well, it's about to be summer. It's not summer yet, let me not get ahead of myself. But yeah, that is my morning skincare routine and we're gonna do our night one later tonight. All right guys, now it is time for the nighttime skincare. I have my little headband on. I'm about to take these lashes off. We're gonna get ugly, okay? I'm a little bit of a catfish, I know. But, you know, no hate to myself because I'm confident with or without makeup. So, I usually like to wash my face and do my cleansing balm in the shower because I just feel like it makes a mess. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna do it here at the sink. So, to take off my makeup, I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. If you want to find something to take off your makeup, I recommend a cleansing balm or a micellar water versus makeup wipes. They're more sustainable and they also are just better on your skin. Makeup wipes tug and pull at your skin and they don't have the best ingredients. But this cleansing balm is super clean. Um, I am almost out of it and it is super hard to find in stores. But but they have it on Amazon, but I recently did pick up the Clean It Zero one, so I'm gonna try to start trying that out. I'll let you guys know what I think of it, but I'm gonna use this on my face right now. I just add a little bit of warm water, and I actually don't wet my face first just because I feel like it helps melt the makeup away more if I do it like this. I'm just gonna start massaging this into my skin just to rub away all the makeup. Okay, so that does do a pretty decent job of taking my makeup off. It does make my eyes kind of blurry for a few minutes, but I'm kind of used to it. Now I'm going to go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser, and I'm just going to wash my face and just get all the rest of the makeup off. And you really just want to make sure that you're taking your time with this. And then for the excess eye makeup, I'm just using the CeraVe Hydrating Micellar Water. It is very gentle. Um, and I just wanted you guys to know that my face does get really red when I wash it, but it literally goes away in like minutes. So I don't want to hear in the comments that my skin looks irritated because in my shower routine one time, somebody said my skin looked irritated when I literally said in the video that my skin just gets red from hot water. Sometimes it just gets red from rubbing it, but it goes away like right after. But as you guys can kind of tell, I do kind of like wipe off little parts of my face because sometimes like I miss certain areas like the little crevices 
for taking off my makeup so i just use this to get it off and i know cotton rounds aren't that good for the environment but i don't use many i literally just use one and i don't even use them every day only when i'm wearing makeup and next up i'm going in with my toner this is the ordinary glycolic acid seven percent toning solution i only use this every other day because it is a little bit of like a more harsh toner but i literally just put it on my hands and i pat it into my skin so i use this every other night because other some nights i like to keep it simple and then after my toner i'm going in with my essence this is the hyaluron skin essence from hand skin and i just take a little bit of this in my hands as well and i just pat this into my skin and the toner i feel like evens out my skin tone more while the essence just like hydrates my skin a little bit um so i really like both i feel like they work really well together and now i'm just going in with the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent i love niacinamide so much especially this one so i'm just putting that on my face and you want to be careful that the dropper doesn't touch your face i know it happens sometimes accidentally but i try to be mindful of it and i'm just pulling my skin upwards and tonight i am doing the longer skincare routine but i wouldn't be doing this every single night as i said and now i'm going in with the ordinary caffeine solution five percent for my under eyes i did see on tiktok that apparently eye cream and eye solutions are supposed to go on before your um moisturizer but i always do it i mean after your moisturizer but i always do it before so i'm just putting this under my eyes with this finger because it has the lightest touch and now i'm going in with my first aid beauty ultra repair cream this is the intense hydration one and I just put a good amount on my finger. And really quick, I did want to show you guys a few other products. So on Thursday nights, I use my retinol 0.5% in squalene. I like to use retinol once a week. It's really good for anti-aging and it's good to start using retinol in your 20s. So I do only use this once a week. And when I use retinol, I try not to use the niacinamide. I try not to use the toner. I literally keep it simple. I'll use my cleanser. I'll use this and I'll also just use my caffeine solution and my moisturizer. I won't use the niacinamide or the toner and the essence. So I keep it simple with that. And then on Sundays, I'll do some sort of mask. So every other week, I'll do the AHA 30% and BHA 2%. When you use this, you want to be careful that you are wearing sunscreen after using it and you don't want to use it too often. Hiram recommends every other week. So that's what I typically do. And this is like a 10 minute peeling solution, facial mask type of thing. When I use this, I keep my skincare super simple. I just wash my face use this and then put moisturizer on after so i keep it very very simple just because i don't want to overload my face with chemicals so that's what i do every other sunday and then another face mask that i've been loving is the inky list kaolin clay mask i will use this like every other sunday probably as well because sunday is when i do my face masks and i just really like using a clay mask because i feel like it really really helps my skin especially if i'm having like breakouts and i feel like it helps it help, it's supposed to help unclog pores it just hydrates my skin a lot and just makes my skin feel super super smooth and i typically just go ahead with my regular skincare routine after using this because i feel like it's not as strong of chemicals and ingredients as like the other ones but it works really well so i love that but lastly my skincare routine is actually a new step i like to do my gua sha so i actually just finally picked up an oil so i got from ulta the ordinary 100 organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil and i do keep this in my skincare fridge along with the gua sha so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hands and then i'm just rubbing it into my face and you are supposed to use oil after your moisturizer which i didn't really know much about until recently when i did the research and now i'm going to gua sha and in all of my videos i always mention that i am still learning like i should know how to do it by now but i'm not a professional so i don't want to give you guys any tips on how to gua sha definitely look up articles or videos on it just to like really learn how to do it but it honestly just feels so good it like helps me really distress it helps you with headaches and it also is supposed to help carve your face but you have to be really consistent for that to work and i don't i wouldn't say that i'm the most consistent with it but it just feels so good and i think it's a really good form of self-care all right guys so that is it for my completed skincare routine you can literally see like a reflection on my forehead because of the oil but i really hope that this helped a lot of you guys i know i've been getting this video request for so long so i'm happy that i can finally do it for you guys i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys